2020 has been a challenging year for all of us, but FairVote and the Ranked Choice voting field have a lot to celebrate. Let's look back. In February, the New York Times endorsed Ranked Choice voting. And overall this year, it was endorsed by 18 newspapers and FairVote was featured in over 50 newspapers. FairVote staff held a major conference on the Fair Representation Act and spoke at the University of Iowa. Throughout the year, FairVote addressed several major organizations and drew thousands to its online events and webinar series, Future of American Elections, which included guests like Andrew Yang, Daniel Allen, Bill Weld, and reform leaders from 19 states. In March, 81% of voters backed a ballot measure to expand ranked choice voting in Maine's largest city of Portland. From February to May, five presidential primaries used ranked choice voting in the states of Alaska, Hawaii, Kansas, Nevada, and Wyoming. Some of the highlights include Fox calling ranked choice voting one of the winners of the Nevada caucuses, turnout more than doubling in Alaska, Hawaii, Kansas, and Wyoming, and over 80% of voters who supported losing presidential candidates had their backup choice counted. In April, Basalt, Colorado used ranked choice voting for the first time to elect their mayor, and Virginia's governor signed two local options bills enabling localities to opt in and use ranked choice voting. In Utah, both Republicans and Democrats used ranked choice voting to nominate candidates at their state conventions. As one Utah Republican said, ranked choice voting is such a no-brainer. Why would we ever consider multiple rounds when ranked choice voting is an option? In June, the American Academy of Arts and Sciences Commission recommended ranked choice voting and proportional representation as its top two reforms to improve congressional elections. And also that month, Hassan Minhaj dedicated a full episode of the Patriot Act to ranked choice voting. Important, but fixing those things won't solve negative partisanship. It won't break up the two parties and it won't fix the fundamental problem of how we vote. So if you feel helpless or you voted for Gary Johnson, I'm sorry, Dennis, there is hope. There is something we have right now that could change the game. It's something called ranked choice voting. In July, the Indiana GOP used ranked choice voting to nominate their attorney general candidate in a comeback win. In August, a fair vote ranked choice voting poll was featured in Vox, identifying Kamala Harris as Joe Biden's most popular potential running mate. Governor Gary Herbert of Utah endorsed ranked choice voting for primaries as leading state legislators committed to introducing legislation in 2021. Also in August, the Virginia GOP used ranked choice voting to elect a new party chair after using RCV to nominate a congressional candidate. In September, Rankit.Vote 2.0, a free online polling tool that allows users to create their own RCV polls, released a new version with features including a new results display. In November, it was the highest turnout election of American adults in U.S. history. More than 1.4 million ranked choice voting ballots were cast, including in nine cities and the first ever use of ranked choice voting in a presidential election in Maine. Also, Shanna Bellows became the first woman secretary of state after winning among six candidates. Ranked choice voting had a near sweep on the ballot. Alaska voters passed RCV for presidential, congressional, and state elections, and voters in five cities passed RCV measures, including a win for the proportional form of ranked choice voting. FairVote was a featured news source for statewide recounts and faithless electors. In December, FairVote's Monopoly Politics report was released. FairVote accurately depicted 357 congressional races with a 99.7% accuracy rate a full two years before Election Day 2020, helping make the case for the Fair Representation Act. Thank you for being a part of the movement to make elections fairer and more representative in 2020. Here's to a safe, healthy, and more representative 2021.